Good morning, folks. We've got great stories today from the core of Earth to deep space, the latter mirrored at the micro scale. Happy anniversary to my wonderful wife, Catherine. We've got some aftermath of the collapse of dark matter. But first, did you notice our sun isn't so silent today? Let's go to spaceweathernews.com and find that while we watch the plasma filament facing Earth that we discussed yesterday, something gigantic happens to the east, the left of it. This sequence involves much of the northern hemisphere as top right you'll see a filament rip away, but shift quickly left afterwards because the concentration and release of plasma is impressive. And when we come to watch the whole sequence in ionized helium, we realize that the entire rope release was millions of miles long, including the end which wrapped all the way around to an earth-facing position and which is still ongoing this morning. Solar wind is surging again in speed, the purple after an initial decrease, but above that the density is waning so no new shock waves leave us unstable with about a 50-50 shot at another low-level storm today. Any further forecast is difficult. The eruptive event today may not be fully trackable, but some effects on the nearby coronal hole are already visibly expansive. We'll be watching that as well. On to our articles. Oxford released a new tomography output showing the mantle and ancient seabed plunged down hundreds of miles. In addition to obvious volcano and seismic research implications, this should help scientists better understand the hydrology cycles in geologic time. For example, perhaps revealing in how ocean floors are recycled. From core to cosmos we go as a supernova 11 million light years away occurred amidst a dusty cloud like a sneeze, with a shockwave ripple exciting and reflecting a light echo through the dust. The mechanistic explanation is the dwarf star close in with a larger star and their interactions went boom. But recall that light echo for just a moment because the universe loves doing this. Same day, we have news about atomic fireworks from Bose-Einstein condensate blasted with magnetic fields and the scientists shocked to find the atom's exodus was linear and in groups instead of chaotic and all over the place like you'd expect in an explosion. Individually, we shouldn't be shocked at the scalability of the universe. This is just the micronova or maybe nanonova. Femtonova? Moving on. This is a terrific pump-the-brakes article for professors looking at just a handful of objects and claiming Planet 9 is lurking in the outer solar system. Between sample size, lacking significance, and alternative explanations like wide scattering of planets and selection bias, we have plenty of other good explanations. Lastly, folks, the fall of dark matter yesterday is rippling like a supernova. Japan's Collider Project got a haircut, nail trim, and leg amputation as the case for the dark matter detector has, quote, eroded. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps, ways to dig deeper and get involved, followed by shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.50 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.